Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to fix your computer when it states no boot table devices found spike f function 1 to retry boot function 2 for setup utility function 5 to run onboard Zygonisus. You don't need to do anything like this. If your computer is not internally damaged, you just have to restart your computer and my computer says to open the setup uh, function 2 and here we go you're on setup now and we go to the boot sequence and when the boot in the boot sequence we're just uh, it's messed up you can see that only uh, it's messed up now what I want you to do is copy this boot sequence right now I'm gonna put the uh, internal hard disk drive to the topmost and give the number one number one priority and the second is I want to get the disk T drive to up and give the number two you uh, now CD slash DVD slash CD RW drive and give it third priority and the fourth one and on board and I see I'm not gonna give it uh, there's no priority priority it doesn't have to give them so first number one you have to give them the numbers number one internal hard drive number two disk t drive number c cd dvd cd rw drive number four usb storage device and not the number five but the, the next line on board nic so now i'm gonna uh, save this thing, save the sequence, and I'm going to fix it now. Now let's see what happens. As you see, the operating system has started to load, and in the meantime, like, uh, wait, let's see if it opens or not. So it took a little bit of time, but it just opened because it's for the first time. And here you go. It's opened. I hope that it'll work for you because it worked for me so nice. As you can see by yourself. And here you go. You're all normal. You're all normal desktop. Got your files here. And that's it. And I hope you like my video. And uh, hit up the subscribe button. You like it if you like it and and uh, let you can leave your comments and suggestions below thank you and don't forget once again to give this uh, the video a thumbs up